We are at the Garden One Airport. I'm going to be away for eight days. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what I do when I know I will park the car for a very long time. Um, yeah, what I should have done, of course, is to wash the car, so. But at least the car is wrapped, so it's protected. Uh, we have some bugs here. But anyway, you see, here we have this golden reflective thing here. Uh, which is the Evonex heat shield uh, so there's some sun so I want to protect the interior from too much sun exposure so this one this side has that one permanently and then I put this one on the inside okay and then in the back here oh, see I also have there in the trunk now uh, <laughs> this big sh sheet here tends to fall down fall off these suction cups are not great uh, Evonex quality but I figured out that if I use these three cards I can like wedge it uh, in place okay we close this one so you see uh, at least I protect the interior from getting too warm oh let's see can I close this one really get stuck in that one no okay yeah so we have a cover most of it. This is like when I when I sleep in the car, it'll be dark like this. Whoa! Shit! Ugh. Okay, okay. Uh, now the problem is I want to I want to this one is a bit troublesome to to close uh, with the door, but you should also configure uh, the car correctly. So what we want to do is range mode doesn't matter. Hang on. Um, what you want to do is go to uh, display, energy saving on, always connected off. You don't have to check the car. And I have charged the car to. Uh, uh, okay, let me set it back here. How many percent are we at? 345 kilometers. Let's see. Uh, we are at 92 percent, which is kind of high, but that's fine. Uh, not 100 percent, at least. So. Uh, 345 when we leave and uh, by doing that, oh I have to check some other settings also uh, so uh, once again display so this one will try to save energy this one will make sure that you know you don't you are not always connected and waste energy and also you want to go on vehicle disable cabin overheat protection I probably don't need it here and also switch off smart preconditioning smart preconditioning is like <laughs> it will randomly switch on and off uh, uh, air climate control so that's it uh, all I have to do now is lock the car get out of the car and lock it uh, let me show you what it looks in the back it's pretty dark now nice and dark so um, this one is always troublesome uh, but uh, you know what I'm gonna do uh, I can slide the seat backwards a little bit, like this. Uh, okay, and then uh, this is funny uh, because this car is so large, you can you can climb between the seats uh, uh, like this. Uh, you have to be a small Asian to do this. Uh, 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 okay, and then open the Falcon windows because then that that sheet over there. Will also stay there. Okay. All right, and then I exit via the Falcon wing doors, uh, uh, and then close the door once more. And now, so we had 345 kilometers when we left. So we can see when we are back here in about eight days or so how many kilometers we have left. But it shouldn't. If everything goes as planned, then I know the car um, will lose minimum uh, like uh, you know if if you don't do it correctly if you just don't save energy whatever worst case preconditioning in zone or whatever it could suck as much as 20 30 kilometers per day uh, if preconditioning is off we're just sitting there but it's always connected is on you might still lose 10 15 kilometers per day but the way I do it now I should lose only three four kilometers per day yeah, I know, you know, I know your leaf, your ionic, your e-golf does not consume that much, but this is a more sophisticated car. It's more, more like react, more, much faster to react on the on the app 
than uh, those e-golfs or whatever. E-golf users, they tend to have problems connecting to the app. But yes, so I think that's it for now. We are going on vacation and then we're gonna come back and check how it is. Yes, all right. Talk to you later. Okay, it's been eight days. We've been in uh, New York, and you know what? I'm lost. There's so many cars here, and uh, the problem is that we took. Well, I I exited a little bit early on the bus, so um, so I don't know where the car is. There's so many cars everywhere here, but it seems like okay. Now, unfortunately, I have the app and. <laughs> this is the first time I use this feature. Oh, I cannot see it well, but um, there is a the car, there is me. So, with the help of the app, I managed to locate the car. I would never have thought I would use that feature, but in a big parking lot like this, yeah, then you actually need it. It's very hot today. It feels like, I haven't checked, but it's probably like 25, 28 degrees Celsius. So, I wonder how hot. Uh, it will be inside a car. Now, oh, whoa, this one is hot for sure. Yeah. But um, the car won't wait. It says, it says waking up, waking up. Uh, I mean, it, it went into some kind of deep sleep a long time ago, many, many days ago. And I didn't check the app. That was also one of the reasons, I mean, one, one of the things we shouldn't do. Uh, because you want the car to sleep. So I let it sleep. Uh, so I want, I'm curious to see how many kilometers we have lost during eight days. So the car should be over here. That's, that's the bus stop I should have taken. Oh, yeah, all right. And after this one, I have to look at wifey <laughs> because she's waiting over there somewhere. Hmm. Oh, there's one Tesla. I saw lots of Teslas over there. Here's another Tesla. Yeah, we have come back to the land of the Teslas. But you probably recognize this one. Yes, here it is, Optimus Prime. So it hasn't responded to my commands because it went into deep sleep. But once I approach with the key fob, you see, uh, it will respond. And then it will wake up. Oh, it's dusty. Okay, it's alive. Let me see. How warm is it in here? Ooh. Oh, you know what? It's not too bad. Oh, we have 311 kilometers. We we park here with. Uh, let me see. I want to check the app. No, that's that's the screenshot. Okay, let me see. Uh, we park with 345. So we lost uh, 34 kilometers. Okay. Whoa! It's 45 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So you see, this is why I wanted to switch off the cabin overheat protection because I don't want it to waste energy while parked. But wow, 45 degrees Celsius, that's hot. Um, it would probably be way hotter without this heat shield all over the place. Oh, that one fell off. Heat. Okay, but anyway, so let's do some quick math here. Um, 345 minus 311 is 34 divided by 8. So we lost 4.25 kilometers only. That's that's not too bad because this car is like, well, it's it's a computer on wheels. It's not a, it's not a Leaf. It's not a Zoe. It's a computer on wheels after all. Yeah. So uh, well, okay. I guess um, that's it then. Um, talk to you guys later.